Hello everyone, welcome back to GGN. This is part four, the final part for today from 21st, 2013. All right, I'm ready to go here. New Jersey bans high school trash talk and hateful comments could get athletes in trouble with state officials. So it goes on here and it says that the Attorney General's Office and Athletic Association announced a policy change banning all uh, manner of mouthing off in high school sports. Officials say it just brings sporting events in line with the state's school yeah, state's school anti-bullying law. Unprovocative language or action towards officials, opponents, or spectators could get the team penalized. Said, especially, and even, it says here, harassing statements about gender, race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, disability, or religion could land an athlete in trouble with the state's civil rights division. Christian school cites Bible and impure thoughts to boot girl from football team. So a Christian school in Georgia is using the Bible to back up their decision that a 12-year-old girl should no longer be able to play football because the boys on the team could have impure thoughts. So just for the fact that because I'm a girl, the 12-year-old, which I think is completely outrageous. So the, uh, the mother created a Let Her Play Facebook campaign hoping that the school would rethink its decision. So I guess, you know, if a monkey wanted to be like a CEO of a company, I guess that they, you know, monkey supporters got a Facebook page and said, you know, to discriminate against monkeys, uh, you know, then they should uh, be able to become CEOs and workers if they want to. I mean, just anything goes, right? I mean, I wouldn't even make the statement about having impure thoughts. Just say, no, you know, this is whatever is for boys and this is for girls and they're not going to do this. You know, just say it. Just say, no, this, our, this, is in, this is in confliction with our tradition of values. Go F yourself. You know, let's just stand up, man. Quit apologizing. Obama blames Northern Ireland, but they got to be politically correct. I mean, that's that's just a given, right? Obama blames Northern Ireland tensions on Catholic schools. So Obama's under fire this week after a speech he gave in Northern Ireland, which he labeled Catholic education um, divisive and Lincoln likened them to segregated schools in the Deep South. They've not only angered Catholics in Northern Ireland, but have put him at odds with the Vatican's highest authorities. So it says here, the Scottish Catholic Observer called alarming and unfounded as comments. Obama implied that tensions between Protestants and Catholics in Ireland would be eliminated if there was no separation between Catholic and Protestant schools. He said issues like segregated schools and housing, lack of jobs and opportunities, symbols of history that are a source of pride for some and pain for others. These are not tangential to peace, they are essential to it. Speaking to about 2,000 youth at a town hall meeting, if towns remain divided, if Catholics have their schools and buildings and Protestants have theirs, if we can't see ourselves in one another, if we fear or if fear or resentment are allowed to harden, that encourages division. It discourages cooperation. And I think this is um, a good a good time to make this point. The only reason they say you know about equality and diversity and you know cooperation, they don't like division, is because these people are killing off all the different tribes or. They're, they're, they're killing everything that we have known. I mean, in the future, they're going to kill off humanity, uh, like I said. So this is a serious threat. You know, you can say, well, I love multiculturalism. Diversity is great. And we're all humans and that. And that's cool, man. I mean, if that's what you believe, that's that's cool. But I believe in something different. And, um, you know, it doesn't, I don't know if I'm, if I'm right, like I said before. So... But my gut intuition is that uh, this is, we're having our consent engineered for us. And the only reason they care about cooperation is that if you have a, a whole planet, whatever millions or billions of people, or just 500 million like they want according to the Georgia Guidestones, um, if you want to control those people, the masses, you want them all thinking the same. You want them all homogeneous. Uh, Morris, 108 Morris, was talking about this. He made a great um, uh, um, a point about this, about, you know, you know Brazil. You know, focusing on Brazil and the and the protests there in Turkey, and that it's like, why why should we give two craps about what's going on there instead of our backyard? You know. And uh, that's the thing. It's about creating uh, uh, this hive mind, this global hive mind. Everybody thinking globally, and uh, you know, I guess in a way, global government news. You know, I created it as a pun on words, basically because people say there's no global government. But maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I should just focus on local issues and not focus on global issues. But, uh, you know, I don't think I present it the way the mainstream media does. You know, when they focus on the Brazil, they're going to have all these different, you know, uh, Zionist-run media outlets uh, uh, basically covering it and slanting it and co-opting that movement. Uh, whereas I'm trying to, like, you know, break through all that. 
So that's how I feel. You know, sorry for rambling on there, but as far as you know, discouraging cooperation. Well, why are these people so seeds of sectarianism and division? So why the hell would they care about cooperation? Like I said, it's for control, for controlling the entire planet. So they had to kill off tribes. They had to kill off, you know, uh, all these different nations. That's why you see the only, the only, uh, the only nations uh, right now that are still semi-tribal or sovereign are the ones that are under attack. You know, be they a foreign colonial power, such as France, UK, EU, NATO, US, or their mercenary proxy forces, i.e. terrorists. Hillary says US should have a female president, you know, speaking hypothetically. So it goes on here and says that a female, pre she hopes to see a US female president in her lifetime because it would send exactly the right historical sign signal to women and girls as well as men and boys. So. She says it depends on women stepping up and subjecting themselves to the political process. So this is, of course, on the notion that that all women are uh, in traditional family, families are victims. They're being victimized. So it's interesting because they wanted to get out and put on the pants and start paying taxes and become CEOs and that and and all these uh, department heads. And uh, what will they be doing? Will they be working for the corporations? They'll be working for uh, uh, for the for the government and they'll be uh, selling out. They'll actually become victims themselves. So, remember we just covered this, right? The Bank of America mural, prophetic art, says, see the controlled female puppet on strings. This suggests that the next puppet president uh, may be a woman. So, there you go. Support Hillary Clinton for president. So, this is actually for real, I guess. Readyforhillary.com to help keep our country moving forward. What the hell does that mean? Like change, moving forward towards where? A brave new world? Transhumanism? The death of humanity? The death of culture? MSNBC host asked her daughter if she would marry a girl when she grows up. This is from April 5th, 2013. So it says here on Friday, co-host of MSNBC's The Cycle Crystal Ball introduced an online only feature called Political Playground in which she focused on marriage equality. In the feature, uh, Ball asked her young daughter to reveal what she understands about marriage and asked if she would marry a girl when she gets older. And that's good because you want people to marry who they're in love with, says, uh, uh, right, says Ball. Uh, her daughter replied by saying yes. When she heard about other states continuing to not recognize same-sex marriage, she replied by saying that's crazy. So I'm not going to, I only have a few articles today on the LGBT crap. I won't cover it in, uh, you know, t whole 15-minute videos anymore. Lesbian couple attacked after having sex in McDonald's bathroom. So two men were allegedly attacked and beaten by a group of people outside the McDonald's restaurant in Pennsylvania after being kicked out for allegedly having sex inside the women's bathroom. Get this, the police superintendent, Mr. Chitwood, said everybody should do their own thing, but doing it at 5 o'clock in the afternoon in the McDonald's bathroom, whether you're female and female, female and male, or male and female, what the fuck? So The Toronto District Board opens its first co-ed washroom so an alternative school dedicated to equity or equality issues has opened the toronto district school board's first co-ed washroom identifying as tr those students identifying as transgender the washroom was set up after a petition by uh, grade 8 students marriage rates lowest in more than a century so the u.s marriage rate for 18 to 34 year olds is at the lowest rate uh, in in the country in over a century, according to a report by Demographic Intelligence of Charlottesville. The country will experience a temporary 4% increase in weddings this year, uh, up from the historically low rate of 6.8, which was held in 2009. says the growth is expected to be among women aged 25 to 34 and college-educated affluent people. More people are living together and people are de delaying marriage because of the economy. Men don't take very attractive marriage partners if they don't have a job. It's all about monetary value. You're a monetary asset. So this is using the economy as a way of um, designing society. According to the report, marriage fell most among less educated young women in the wake of the recession or wealth consolidation operation. Also worth mentioning is that um, it said that the for the first time that white deaths outnumbered births, but you know commenters said that those polls were not accurate. So. Everything you thought you knew about age and fertility was wrong from June 21st, 2013. So it basically says that, um, you know, how you were told that 
you know, by the time you get 30, by the time you're 30, you know, you're, uh, you're no longer able to, uh, to have kids. You know, eggs were rapidly shriveling up and dying. So they say it turns out to be based on no specific published medical literature. She says here it's wonderful news that the statistics, that said, it's wonderful news that statistics about fertility decline have potentially been exaggerated. So that's exaggerated too. Then perhaps we can push back against attitudes that women are waiting too long because they're deluded or selfish or career obsessed. So I, I saw this article too, uh, just from today. Baby surprise for six-year-old women. So we've written about surprise babies before. When women have only learned they're expecting a baby in the third trimester or didn't even realize that they were pregnant before going into labor. In India, women start to go through menopause around the average age of 44. In Australia, it's around 51. Uh, interesting, too, though. You think about places like India, they have more kids, right? At a younger age. So maybe, they, uh, maybe they're maybe they not able to have kids later because they have more kids and at a younger age, whereas... Uh, most of these um, Australian, European, American women uh, tend to put it off and have less kids and have them try to have them at a later age. Chinese city forces all women of childbearing age to be fitted with IUDs or sterilized. The Chinese government has given notice to citizens that all women of childbearing age must be fitted with these devices, uh, IUDs, or permanently sterilized via tubal ligations. It says they're using monetary rewards and threats that women will lose uh, access to government-run social services in order to coerce women into submitting themselves for temporary and permanent sterilizations. Women deliver. It uh, says here, Gates' global push for abortion continues. So it's be being billed as the largest global event of the decade to focus on health and empowerment of girls and women. It's basically designed to reduce populations of, uh, quote, developing nations by promoting a Western-style sexual revolution via chemical contraceptives, access to abortion on demand, including the promotion of chemical, I don't know what the heck that is, in countries where abortion is illegal, and sex education for youth. So it says uh, featured speakers were Melinda Gates, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, uh, president of the Planned Parenthood Federation of America, who I believe actually said that uh, children are part, are, are actually... Uh, societies. They are, they're not actually part of the family. Don't forget Hillary Rodham Clinton via video stream. A body of newborn baby discovered in trash can in California. So discovered in a trash can in Oildale, California. And that was today. It comes just weeks after the footage of Chinese workers labeling to remove a baby from a sewage pipe after a single mom mother uh, says flushed her down the toilet. Something police said was an accident body of small baby found in sewage tank so this is in canada in montreal they're looking for the mother of a small baby whose body was discovered in a solid waste tank in the waste treatment plant just north of the city they said the baby was likely flushed down the toilet a mom who threw baby down garbage chute sentenced to 2.5 years in prison this is the uk mom who stuffed her newborn uh, daughter in a garbage bag and threw her down a 44 foot long garbage chute has been sentenced to two and a half years in prison why well, I had my abortion at 23 weeks, mother says, medical problems weren't clear until then. But uh, says here, she offers her own story to make the case why it should never be, why her and her husband chose to abort one of the twin fetuses, because it wasn't until then the full scope of the medical problems had become clear. So it says here, the thought of hearing him grasp for ear and linger in pain was our nightmare. So it says, we made sure our son was not born uh, only to suffer. He died in a warm and loving place. Deaf U.S. kid hears for the first time thanks to brainstem implant. This is nice and everything, but of course it leads to what? Transhumanism. The ban on growing human organs in animals is to be lifted. I believe it was in what? Japan? So it says here that human internal organs in the bodies of other animals for potential use in transplants. Raising concerns about the compromise and the dignity of human beings. Health officials are very disappointed that most doctors and nurses declined flu vaccinations last winter that they'll give them to their patients. Study says 70% of Americans are on prescription drugs. 70%.